To me, this is a great example of how the SAT has wised up to the fact that Desmos is really, really useful. And they've created a question where it's very difficult to use. You could do it, you could put some sliders in, you could replace the R and the W with X and Y and kind of create some lines here, but I just don't think it's reliable. And you know, maybe you got it on this question we're using Desmos, but they could change this up and, and make it a, a slightly messier answer and then it wouldn't work. So the best thing to do here is just to recognize what you've got. And it's not so bad. We have a system and they're talking about no solutions. And so anytime we have the number of solutions, two things can happen. Either we're dealing with X squareds and quadratics, in which case we need to think about the discriminant, or we're just thinking about lines. And that means we have no X squared, so we can just think about slopes. And that's what we've got here. We don't have any X squareds. We don't have any squared exponents at all. So just think about slopes. Now, it doesn't bother me so much that we've got you know, R and W instead of X and Y. The point is we, we kind of just want these things to start to look like Y equals MX plus B in some way. So I, I'm gonna work with the second equation because that has fewer var variables, right? I'm gonna add the five over. So that's seven R is equal to 10 W plus 11. And then let's make the R, the Y, let's just get it alone. And I'm gonna divide everything by seven. So now I don't even really need to rewrite it. I have the number I want. I want the slope because if there are different slopes, I am going to have uh, one solution, but they are telling me there are no solutions, meaning that I have to have the same slope. So now I can manipulate this top equation. So let's bring it down here. So six or seven eh, R equals P W minus six. Oh my gosh, I'm falling apart here. And I don't even care about that part because it's the Y intercept. There's nothing to do with the number of the slope. So now I divide by seven and I see what I wanted, that the P over seven, we need to solve for P, right? P over seven has to be the same slope as this 10 sevenths in the other line, right? So you, you could probably do this without um, getting it back to Y equals MX plus B, but I think that's riskier. I think it's just safer. We think about slopes in Y equals MX plus B, you might as well just get back to that point. And now it's really obvious, the answer is 10. And that's it, that's the whole thing. So it looks like it's gonna be really, really bad, and I think that that's why people want to use Desmos here is they're just like, oh my God, these equations look crazy. I don't know what's going on, number of solutions. And they kind of like get in their heads about it. But watch my lesson on what to do when they talk about the number of solutions for situations that don't have X squared. It's just like three things you need to memorize. And then especially you, you have the specific rules, but you also just have the knowledge that when they say no solutions and it looks like you don't have an X squared, you just kind of have a, a plan already. Just like, okay, let's get it back to Y equals MX plus B. Let's think about slopes. That's the whole game. And I think that that's safer than going to Desmos because in this case, 10 was the number. But what if the answer was 10 sevenths? Right? Would you be able to put 10 sevenths in the slider and, and figure that out? No, I don't think so. Sevenths are a very weird decimal. So you might never be able to get the answer that you need playing with a slider and, and guessing and checking. Now, if we had answer choices, that's maybe a different story because then you could just put those in. But I think that that's what the SAT did here on purpose is they, they deliberately took away those answer choices so we couldn't guess and check. And that's okay because if we know this, the strategy, we know the topic, then it really won't matter if they kind of make it a little harder on us. We can just go back to basics and do it the traditional way.